Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, part two, a um, bit unexpected, but it's my fault. Um, press the bloody pause button. Um, okay, if you're new to this, um, this is a tutorial based research channel. Um, and uh, this will make a lot more sense if you watch the previous uh, video. Um, I missed out quite a lot and I was halfway through explaining something and then it went into the last image which I featured. So um, let's um, start from where I started off. Okay, we were looking at this and I was explaining about um, the edges of things, etc., the, the difference in colors um, and uh, lightness, darkness, etc., etc. And what I tried to do was give you a black and white version. So, okay, I, I think I'm in the right place. Um, so, let's go for it. Um, I think where I was at, I was just trying trying to explain. I mean, these this is supposed to be the shoreline, and uh, this is in blue. If you look back, um, <clears throat> and what I was trying to explain was um, that the the features on the the land seem to be in the sea or the lake itself. Um, so I'll quickly do this. I don't know how long this it, this um, video is going to be because um, I actually did quite a lot. God knows how long it would have been. Um, but so we can see the shoreline. Yeah, we've we've got the different colours and stuff. Um, just let me. Uh, Let's go, I think there is a roundabout here somewhere. So there we go. You've got the, um, but what I was trying to explain, and this doesn't make much sense to me, is um, how these things continue from the shoreline into the, um, the lake or the sea. I think this is a big lake. It's massive. It's bigger than Lake Michigan or something like that. So, uh, 120, 1,000 square kilometers or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. The information is in the previous video. So, this is what I was trying to explain, which is good using um, is good using the uh, the black and white. Um, I'm just going to move my mic. So this stuff is continuing into the into the lake. Um, and uh, yeah. It's quite mad. Now, unless I haven't gone completely mad, um, I did check the video out. I've just put it out there now. Um, you get an idea of what I'm talking about now. So this is like coastal, and this is supposed to be the. the uh, see there's a few other things I wanted to explain um, in regards to how the they uh, present these images the computer is struggling today So basically, these structures are running from the land into the sea. Um, 
I think I might have done a little bit more on the previous vid um, in regards to showing you some bits and bobs <clears throat> but I'm not entirely sure because I've just finished it and I just wanted to get this one out and get it done so I can do the next one which should be very interesting but you can see it's connected the land these uh, forms structures are they're just continuing on into the into the sea I'm hoping that I uh, showed you more of this map these are much better in black and white I think they're much better in black and white And if you are watching this uh, for new and stuff, um, please check the other videos. Um, it will make a lot of sense. Um, these images are quite hard to get your head round if you're not used to it. Um, okay, right. So I'm hoping I've covered, I've left off in the right place. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. Just want to have another look at that. Just before I started this, I was looking at um, Ron T's channel. Um, journalist and Forrester, forest, Forrester or something. Go and check him out, it's brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. And um, I was looking at his and then my last video I did was uh, Mimus, which is another Saturn moon, and some of the um, very odd looking crater constructions, I would say. Um, uh, he was featuring an area of the moon, and uh, they look pretty much the same as um, what we were looking at on. Uh, uh, Mimus, Mimas, Mimus. I hope I'm saying that right. So, okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, right. So, um, now there's something I wanted, which is mm, doing my head in, shall we say? We let's have a look. Just gonna unplug that. Okay, so here they are. Uh, I, I think it's around from around about 2004 or something like that. And they've got a comparison here. I haven't got this. I haven't um, done any work on this map. I'm just showing you this because. Um, so. The, uh, these are the uh, the Cassini synthetic aperture radar, um, and they're explaining that this is a, a new technique for handling electronic noise um, that results in clearer views of Titan's surface on 
the right. So this is the original the radar image. Um, the technique is called despeckling and it produces images that can be easier for researchers to interpret. Now, um, this doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I'll show you here. If I go to an enhancing, here we have a de speckle filter. Now, it's got the radius size, adaptive, recursive, um, black levels, and white levels. So you can play around with these in relation to having a picture which is got noise on it. Now, as far as I can sort of work it out, um, if anyone's very familiar with this, please let me know. But it's like a bit of a glorified blur smudge tool. Um, and it doesn't make any sense to me to go all the way to um, Titan and take these images. You would, you would think you'd go there and use the best image, uh, imaging equipment possible um, while you're there and um, it gets sent back I think I think this stuff gets sent back um, and then they stick it through uh, which is basically a, a basic filter in um, imaging programs today um, just to make a complete mess of it um, now, did I have that image up or not? Uh, no, it's a different one. So, doesn't really make any sense to me. If I blow that up a little bit, there's no, um, you can't really, you can sort of get an idea. Now, to me, there's lots of information in there. And here it's just been flattened out. Now, there are areas I do think it does improve um, but not in big flat areas like this it's the twisty turny dinky stuff so after I stumbled upon this um, I found this and this is a, a, a sample um, this was from wiki and this is explaining the de-speckling process as well so I think this uh, 7.4 no it's not right so this was the original image this is the radar image and this is the de-speckled image at the quality you download it at and it sort of like turned it into a crap looking painting basically so if I no it's not that one is it no, that's something different this is the one I ended on the last video if you uh, if you've seen it which I was having some problems with I don't know but yeah as an, as an example this has been mucked around with but it's the original radar image which to me is the first images that they're taking which all the information is taken from why would you stick it through a de-speckle filter which just smudges it all up and um, makes a mess of it um, but what I did notice which I have um, spoken about before is looking in the dark areas for uh, information because it can get missed um, and there is stuff in the dark areas and this is really I don't think this has been enlarged I think I've opened the wrong one because I'm, I'm rushing trying to get this uh, get this out to you um, but you understand where I'm coming from doesn't make any sense to to do this for the researchers because uh, 
basically you're just blurring and smudging out tons and tons of information and I'm sure they have a much better way of uh, doing it okay right so that that's not going to make visually apart from looking at the hole I'm not going to do any work on that and it wouldn't make a lot of sense anyway so I was looking in the dark areas let's just have a quick look at this side same area as you can see how pixelated this is I haven't done anything to it um, probably have to squint your eyes at this one. I'm only doing this because I'm interested to uh, just have a brief, a quick look. So yeah, there you go. Um, Despeckling noise from original images that I take. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okie doke. Right. Now, I'm going to look at this one. I have got this image as well but it's very difficult to um, so I think what we'll do we'll just concentrate on this area and, and those people who use um, eyepieces of magnifying glasses and stuff this will probably work for you pretty well um, to get a bit closer it's a shame I hit the pause button on the last one um, so it would have had all this stuff in it, God knows how long it would have been but there we go So, I mean, these could be sort of elevated or literally this area here has been darkened and they've sort of tried to make um, a geological feature out of these. Um, which is, I'll just demonstrate. Let me... Uh, See if I can uh, if I go like this, I can get rid of those features. Now, if you didn't know I was doing, I think I've done this on a on a, on another another video. If you didn't know I was doing this now.
It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. And is is it how the 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 the, uh, the radar instrument would take the image? I mean, it would it wouldn't it um wouldn't it appear as one whole? Because this gives you the, the the impression of of depth and height and etc etc. You know, and they could uh, you know they explain these as something. So if I change the tool back. we can reinstate that line. But also we can pull the stuff that's in between those lines and turn it into something like this. I mean, obviously not so bleached as you can't see what's going on. Part of doing this research is um, trying to work out um, what the image is doing or what's been done to it. Um, you understand? Um, you need to. Well, I I need to try and understand how these images have been manipulated so it makes it easier for me to use the tools at my disposal to to um, pull out the as much as the original information as possible I'm trying to think what this image originally did look like before the light and the dark and the... See, look, this is the piece that I did. You wouldn't know. You really wouldn't know. And the, when you look at it that way, it starts... Um, not making any more sense, but... Um, Especially not to, to someone who doesn't do this um, and go through these processes. But this is what the, the you know the channel's here for. It, it, I can show you how to, or it shows you how to start with these. I mean, these are complicated images because they're so. What would you say, furious? Um, so much happening it's so difficult to get completely confused by them And, and this is one of the techniques you can use anywhere, like on the lightness. If it's too bright, you can take an area back like this. So we've just done that. Go back to the dodge. Just reduce that.
so when you work back on it because the tools only choose the, the, diff, the, the various tones you choose here you can pull them back to a more observable um, state we'll be talking about it I've spoken about this before but um, on images such as these where they're so they're so complicated um, it's n nice to explain and show you the, the process so you can better understand what you're looking at so so you can start seeing the the formations appearing Sphere is I don't know if I mentioned it in the oh, I think I think I did in the last video the, the part one of this um, familiar structures which just repeat and repeat and it's like a like these areas with spires or towers or domes or whatever they are they're all over the place just follow it all I don't know sometimes squinting's good This area of the, the image is very blurred, it's distorted almost, it looks like it's been stretched. It's all over the place. Where's that? See that on there? Like this. Okay, um, let's go to here. Okay, right, Cassini's final Titan radar swath. Um, I pause, pause it and read it, especially this bit. There's information here, and there's um, there's PIA numbers and stuff things um, so it's all good I can't say I do read them all I don't um, so uh, if um, if I make a boo-boo then just let me know that's that image as well so you've got the number and the stuff here 
and there's some more information with the PI numbers. Okay, right, so we were having a look at this one, and we're going to look at the uh, right side. Oh, bang, there we go. Let's start at this end because it's more interesting. Now, I've done not a huge amount of work on this, but um, <coughs> do excuse me. So, like I explained with the um, uh, the this one with the black and white, and the difference between the shorelines, you know, the different colours and the the tonals tonal values and things um, this is already black and white and these are areas which are pulled out and this clearly looks like something I mean this is on this is on the original I and mean, I haven't touched any of any of this it either looks like a bridge going across the sea or it's something um, I don't understand why they would have left that one in there it's sort of too unusual let's go back a bit more of this now. So this area now I'm working on, um, this is, I'm not sure on this one, it's either going to be a lake or a sea. But as you can see, this as well. Very odd looking. Clearly looks like something coming into another big structure here. It's another platformy bit with a dome on top. And this is the whole image.
So, this, whatever it is, I'm just going to do some zooming in and out so you can have a look and It doesn't matter where I go. Okay. Sorry about the uh, let's try. I keep trying to do this. Very unprofessional, but we're not professional yet, so you have to bear with it. So I'll just move along. I'm not sure if you can see it better at this level or this level. This looks best to me. I mean, I haven't got a giant screen. Um, let's have a look at this. So like I've explained before, it's um, sort of filling in the gaps. Um, now it's when you pull out to a certain level that you can start seeing the, the structures in question. I mean, it's, it's literally everywhere.
to see if the computer can uh, handle this. It's grumbling. Oh dear, did you see that? Not responding. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Right. That's just closed the whole thing. Oh, I might as well show you. This is the first part. Um, so I've I've just lost everything there. Um, yeah, it just shut the whole uh, program down. Um, so anyway, I think the the bits that I missed, I've managed to get in there. Um, so. I'm going to go back to the drawing board <clears throat> and uh, oh my god yeah brilliant okay guys um, if I have missed anything else um, I'll let you know obviously so let's just put this one down to experience and um, I will see you soon. Okay guys, bye.